It's Wonderland Weekly with a very special intro here by Kermit the Frog! Yay! Was that alright? That was good? Alright. Well, thanks everybody and have a wonderful week! Hi everyone! Is everyone having an amazing day here at Camp Spooky? Amazing. Now it's almost time for us to begin our spooky tales with Snoopy. But oh, wait, I think we're missing someone. I know I've seen him around here somewhere. <sighs> Have any of you seen Snoopy? Yeah, where is he? Is he over here? No, I don't see him. He's over here? You know what? I think we should all call out for him. Ready? As loud as you can. Snoopy! 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 There you are! You're so silly. You almost missed story time. And it's a good one. Now let's see. We have Snoopy. We have our story. Are you all ready? Well, then it's time to tell you a very spooky tale about Snoopy's best Halloween memory. For Snoopy, Halloween meant candy. But it also meant to resting up. Snoopy wondered, what should he be for Halloween? I know he thought, how about a wizard? Snoopy searched around the house for a magic wand, but he couldn't seem to find one. No, that won't work. How about something spooky, said Snoopy. Oh, that's a good idea. I know, zombie Snoopy. Snoopy held out his arms like a zombie and stumbled around his room. That is scary. But Snoopy said, no, something scarier. I know vampire Snoopy. He picked up his cape and threw it over his shoulders. In his best Dracula voice, he said, trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Not too big and not too small. Just the size of Vaughn Mills Mall. Mwahaha. Snoopy still wasn't sure if he had the right costume yet. There were so many options to choose from. For the rest of the day, Snoopy tried to concentrate on having fun with Charlie Brown and Woodstock. But his mind was on Halloween. Every day for the rest of the week, Snoopy got ready. He carved crazy pumpkins. He hung sticky spider webs and ghosts all over the house. He even hung a sheet like a ghost to flutter in the wind. And he practiced. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. Not too big, not too small, just the size of Vaughn Mills Mall. Wahahaha. At last, it was the night before Halloween and all throughout the neighborhood, there were spooky sounds. There were creaking sounds and scratching sounds. Snoopy was scared. He shivered in his doghouse and imagined ghosts and goblins and witches and werewolves. I know, cried Snoopy as he bounced up and down with excitement. I'll be super Snoopy. Snoopy ran into his house to find his costume. He threw a cape over his shoulders and then he put on his mask. When Snoopy went to the Halloween parade, Charlie Brown and all his friends thought he looked very cute. Do you all think Snoopy looks cute? I think he looks adorable. That night, when the dark crept in and all the ghouls and ghosts and goblins came out to trick or treat, Super Snoopy made his way up to his first house. His costume was a hit. House after house, Snoopy got loads of candy, chocolates, and lollipops, and so much more. At the end of the night, Snoopy made his way home with all his treats and couldn't help but thinking about what he would wear next year. This was the best Halloween yet. Did everyone like that story? Yeah. Amazing. Now, Snoopy, I think we have time for one more quick story. What do you think? How about all of you? Do you want to hear another story? Yeah. Amazing. Now, this story is how the totally awesome Super Snoopy saved Halloween. Super Snoopy woke up super early to get ready for another super day. It was almost Halloween, and for Super Snoopy, that meant a lot of work. It seemed like every Halloween, everyone needed Super Snoopy's help to get their decorations up, find their costume, and so much more. To prepare for the day, Snoopy began getting ready by doing some super stretches. First, Snoopy stood all the way up on his tippy toes, stretched high up to the sky with one hand extended forward, just like he was flying. Can all of you get up on your feet and show me how you fly? Amazing. Next, Snoopy ran on the spot, showing off the super speed. Can everyone show Snoopy how you can run on the spot super, super fast? Incredible. Finally, Snoopy practiced all of his super poses so he'd be ready to jump into action whenever needed. Now, can everyone show off their super poses? I love that pose. Once Snoopy was done getting ready, he set off into the neighborhood to see if anyone needed his help. In no time at all, Snoopy's heard someone calling out for help. Someone, help! I can't get my decorations all the way up on top of my house. Upon hearing that, Snoopy rushed into action. 
So we saw a group of children looking up at their house, sadly. Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. to be cried out before taking the decorations and flying high above the house, setting them down on the roof. Thank you, Super Snoopy, the group of children yelled happily. Snoopy waved and flew away, happy to have helped. But before he got too far away, he heard again, someone help, I left my Halloween costume at school. So he flew down to the ground and saw a child sitting on the steps of a house crying. Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. He ran as quickly as he could, all the way to the school, through all the hallways and into the classroom, where he saw a scarecrow costume sitting on one of the chairs. He grabbed it and ran back, all in under five seconds. Thank you, Super Snoopy, the girl exclaimed. Snoopy waved and ran off, again, looking for any signs of trouble. Snoopy was surprised, he kept running, and running, and running, and running, but no one seemed to need his help. Finally, Snoopy heard someone yelling, Snoopy! Snoopy! Snoopy stopped and looked around. In front of him, he saw his friend, Charlie Brown. There you are, Snoopy! Charlie exclaimed. Where have you been? It's almost time for a Halloween party. Have no fear, Super Snoopy is here. Snoopy posed heroically before heading off with Charlie Brown to the Halloween party, where he had lots of fun bobbing for apples, eating lots of candy, and telling stories all about how he saved Halloween. Snoopy loved Halloween stories, and we hope that he loved ours. We hope to see you again for another spooky tale. Happy Halloween, everyone. Bye-bye. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like the video, comment with anything you'd like me to cover in the future, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and support me on Patreon so that I can visit more parks and create more wonderful videos.